Hey y'all, it's BJ. It's Jane. And this is a sip and a shot. Woo 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 woo. Season two, baby. We're back. Yes. We missed uh, you uh, guys. Uh, we missed uh, this. Uh, uh, we missed uh, each other. Yeah, we're definitely out of sync from I where know. we used to be. <laughs> <laughs> so out of sync. Because it's so late from where we're like how we're recording right now so late at night but it's gonna yes. be it's gonna be good yeah this it's is actually very similar to the first time we ever recorded together yes. where we're like oh four o'clock yeah let's meet up we'll record we'll get it's some easy, stuff done it's easy. nine o'clock y'all <laughs> we were sitting here recording <laughs> like i'm tired <laughs> but you know we have stuff to do we have to you know get cute because it's a celebration yes. we have to make the drinks it, it, we got a lot of drinks we have three drinks. We do. We have I was like... A sip and two... Sh- no. One shot and two sips. Yeah. It's our first episode back. Let's throw caution to the wind. You know we love bad ideas. That's not what happened. It wasn't... It didn't start out as a bad idea. It, I mean, it didn't start out as a bad idea. Our recipe got a little dicey. And I was like, I'm we questioning just, it Yeah, all. we were worried. In <laughs> case we didn't like it, we definitely wanted to have a drink. We knew we would potentially like. Yeah. So yeah. speaking of our drinks, let's get let's into get it. Started. All right, so our first drink is called Where the Money Resides. Where the baby. Money Resides. Where the Money Resides. Where the Money Resides. Reside. You know, we we catching up. <laughs> okay, we listen. We, we might have been gone for a little bit, but we can catch up. We were quick. still, we were still, you know, we knew what was going on. Yeah, so this is to 2021. This is to 2021. Cheers to the good. Cheers to the bad. Cheers to all the things we wish we had. Yay. Please. Tap that glass. Everything we're drinking today has gin in it today. <laughs> so it's gin, melon liqueur, mm. sour mix, mm. okay. and lime juice. Okay. Oh. Because we're crazy. This is like your type of drink. Yeah, I don't like sweet drinks. This is a sour drink. What I don't like is the melon liqueur. Should have just used apple bunker and called it a day. I think I, I needed the melon liqueur. It added something a little sweet to it. I can taste the. Um, can you taste the melon? Yeah, I can taste the melon. And I'm not I'm not a fan. Not feeling it. But we now know not to mix your gin and melon liqueur. Yeah. Simple. This is the reason I don't like Tokyo teas as much is because mm. it has the melon liqueur in it. I'm okay, like, okay. Can we cut that? Um so now for our sip. our real sip. <laughs> <laughs> our initial sip that we were gonna have. We wanted to make a gin fizz. Yes, we've never had one before. I think Never. I must have added a little bit more club soda than you did. I think you did. Yeah. And I was nervous. I was just very over it by the time this was done. <laughs> I think with the shaker. Yeah, with the shaker. <laughs> the cold hands. We are going to put out that video. We did. Yeah. We recorded a video of us making it um, so you can see the hot mess in action. <laughs> Um, I was gonna say it's definitely be dangerous. Yeah, it's definitely us. If you've ever watched our lives, you're going to go back and watch. You know, you never know what will happen. We might get really drunk. There might be an injury. Um, we might make cash checks or mouth or write checks or mouth ca- cash. We <laughs> do those downhill quickly. One shot in, two shots in. Don't write no check your ass can't cash. Right? Exactly, that's where we're at. So this is a gin fizz. It is gin, egg whites, simple syrup, and uh, lemon, lemon juice. juice. All right. I think where we're iffy on is the egg whites, and did we shake it enough? I want to get sick. Yeah. I think the acid cooks it. I think the acid takes care of that. This is not my first drink with the egg white in it. This okay. is the first drink I've made with, the egg, with white an egg white in it. And we made them separately. So yeah. if one person goes in the other, it's, you did it yourself. <laughs> you can't lose and pour your own poison for real, right? Yes. All right. Well, cheers. Cheers, friend. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> It's not bad. It's not bad. Whoa. My mouth did a really weird, like, um, you know, I think there's like a gland in your mouth that like when something sour hits the mm. back and it like liquefies it, it's like, mm-hmm. it's like liquid. <laughs> I was like, ooh, you might drool a little. This, it's this not is, bad. It's something. It's not. I don't know if I'm supposed to drink it out of a straw or like get the fizz from the side of the cup. I don't. That hits different. 
from the side of the cup. It does to me. From the side of the cup. You it's taste that, a lot. You taste it quicker. Yeah, and the foam feels better. It's like getting a nice drink, like a nice coffee for those coffee drinkers with like a good level of foam. It just makes you feel like, mmm, you're home. Snuggled up. I can see this episode going down <laughs> really, really quickly. <laughs> really quickly. Um, okay, let's so... Our second sip. Our backup sip is a gin gimlet. Mm -hmm. And that has... Or just a gimlet, I guess. Gin, lime juice, and simple, simple syrup. syrup. Everything that the Fizz has minus the egg whites. Yeah. Basically. And the lemon juice. Yeah. Lemon, lime juice instead of lemon juice. So, cheers to that. Cheers. Semi-clink? All right. Yeah, clink. Go. Okay. Yeah, I can get down with this. What am I, so we wanted to do everything kind of green today. That was a um, coincidence because 2021 is bringing what? Where the money reside? Where the money reside? Okay. We're okay. not going to keep doing that. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I feel like I like this drink more than that drink. but I do, but I think it's a, I think it's a mind over matter thing maybe. Well, I mean, it's like no, the that knowledge that there's egg whites in it. But I'm going to finish this, this, um... Fizz, before I get to that drink, I feel like that drink's gonna have me ooh, on the side. I'm, I'm definitely getting at the same time. a burrito tonight. <laughs> I'm away in bed and anyway, watch shows. So, let us tell you what we've been up to. Yes. Because we missed you. I, I don't think we recorded any for holiday season, Christmas season. Yes, and that episode we recorded, we recorded two weeks before it came out. Yes. Um, so, we haven't talked to y'all. We haven't talked to you guys. So, um, one thing we want to talk about is yes. New Year's. New Year's was right after Christmas. Yeah. So I had a, and I use the word party very, very lightly. Because very there light. were seven. Yes. Seven people here. We kept it under the ten. Under the ten. People Everyone had home. quarantine. Maximum. This is like the pod. Yes. That's what they've been saying. You know, the, the, that was, that our was my pod, our pod, pod, our quarantine pod. Yes. So everyone was super safe, and we had so much fun. We know y'all saw the pictures. Your girls was looking good. We looked good it for as long all as black. we looked good. Yeah. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was an all-black affair. Yes. Everyone had on black, because I think the idea initially was death to 2020. Like yeah, we just we were wanted saying to goodbye. Get rid of it. it was supposed to be funeral theme, and then we were like... like 2020 wasn't that it wasn't bad. That bad. Not for us. We know for yeah. other people it was Absolutely. definitely a hard time. There's a lot of people that are going through a lot of mental things, losing family, losing their jobs. Um, but I think in 2020, it allowed our relationship to grow. Yeah. We started this podcast. Yes. Um, we've been blessed enough to be okay. Yeah. Um, even with the few scares that there were like close to us mm -hmm. last year. Um, so we're just like, we don't want to put a bed into the year, even with it, even though there were some even sections that bad. were bad. Yeah. yeah. And I think in everything, it's like a yin, a yin, yin and yang. Mm -hmm. There's positives as well as, as negatives. Yes. You know, we have, we were able to get closer to our friends. We were mm -hmm. able to just do new things. We were able to get to know ourselves better. Yep. Slow down a little bit. Slow, mm -hmm. I think I had one of the best birthdays I've had in a long time, even though really? it was... Yeah, like, I... I did too, but I was pre-quarantine. Yeah, she had a pre-quarantine <laughs> party, you know. You might be able to catch what happened there a few episodes back, and I'm sure we'll talk about it in March again. Um, we didn't talk about my birthday. I know. We talked about it for my... We, yeah. That episode never came out. Yep. Maybe that'll drop one time this mm -hmm. year. Um, but... It was a very, you know, close knit. The girls showed up to my house and we just kind of sat on the porch and talked. Um, mm -hmm. Cause my birthday's in June, so that was like yeah, that really was the heat of it. <laughs> you right? I think when they were like, you can go other places other than the grocery store. That was yeah. it. Yeah, I think that's when it was like. At first, it was just grocery store, and then right before my birthday, they were like, "Okay, you can go out." And it was and like, it, it was still like outside. Yes, we sat outside in and separate chairs. Yeah, everybody distant. Yeah, and then at one point, I think your mom was like, "You guys can come, come in. inside." He's like, "Y'all can come inside." Because <laughs> I'm bringing the baby, so yes, I'm like, you guys can come inside. Well, we want to, you want to win the mom over, break some rules, bring a baby. <laughs> <laughs> That'll squash everything. I'm like, yeah, you can't have the baby outside. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not okay. Mm -hmm. What about the baby? Forget us. But, anywho. <laughs> it was a good time. It was a good time. It was, you know, we took the good with the bad. Yes. And, and I think this party definitely, we took the good with the bad. 
took me two days to recover. <laughs> I was gonna say, I did. So the two of us got so turned up. The and we were the only two apparently that got super turned up. No, we weren't. My brother got turned up too. Yeah, he was and his girlfriend. They were turned up as oh, well. Oh yeah, they were. They but just... because we were so turned because everyone was individually turned up, we didn't know. Yes, and it fed out to the next morning. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I've never felt so old, y'all. Yeah. Like yeah, I vaguely remember, and I think there's nothing like a blackout. I'm not gonna call it a blackout. A d- a mine was hers was a blackout. blackout. Mine was a pops of images. You know what? Mine <laughs> wasn't a blackout. It was an outer body experience. Mm, um, okay. Because okay. there was a moment when I was being helped on the stairs, <laughs> which I found out later. You know, the same weekend, um, and I was like, <laughs> the next morning I woke up and I was like, I just remember. Like, my, one of my favorite guy friends, one of my brothers, I was like, I remember he, him helping somebody on the stairs, and they were, like, sick, and I don't, like, who was that? Who was sick? And then they were like, like you. you. It was you. I was like, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure I was standing over his shoulder, like, oh, do you need help? <laughs> what do we need to do? <laughs> it was you. It was me. Your girl was in the bathroom. And they should have left On the there. floor. Should have left and- I was upstairs in the bed by that time. I don't know how I got there, but I was upstairs in the bed. And the story that I got was she was on the floor in the bathroom. And they were like, well, let's just get her to the couch. Yep. And then I was like, no, 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 no. I think it's a great drunk impression. <laughs> no. Um, and apparently I am a Sour Patch Kid when I drink. So that's, a, that's a thing. So I might be real mean and then I'm really nice after the fact. But... They got me at least the stairs, and I was like over it, like leave me here, and then I threw up on her stairs. Yeah. But if they would have left me in the bathroom, I might have thrown up at least on tile instead of carpet. Well, they were <laughs> they cleaned it. Yeah, it was all fine. I'm very yeah. appreciative. We have very good friends. We always we say that great, great friends. friends. Great and friends. you know what the funniest part of that was? Our friend who's married, he's always like. You guys don't party like that. You guys don't get down like Y'all that. Y'all don't drink we like, like that. Listen. We keep it very. We keep it mellow because we wanted to make sure you were locked in before yes. we. <laughs> we keep it very really. like. We might, you know, it might get a little R, like PG 13. We're not going to take it all the way to our prime time. Um, a little too grown for that. Yeah. And but he, boy, did he have an experience that day. <laughs> he was like, what is happening you know what we might have to have him on so he can give his um interpretation perspective of lord that would be rough. funny him and his wife yes that will be funny um what, what else happened? happened there's been a the- i feel like do i want to go in like super deep into that night so apparently i called my ex yes i don't like calling him my ex i like calling him my former beau and that's probably the problem <laughs> but the funniest part was earlier in the night like i came over to help set up and she's a great friend. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'll, I'll help you set up, friend. Whatever you need. She had me up on a ladder, y'all. <laughs> Putting stuff on the ceiling. Scared. It was a really good party. It was a great party. It was I wanted when, I, when you walked in, I wanted you to be transformed. Not super transformed, but like party city transformed. Like where, transported into Yeah, a new... into like a party, you know. Yes. Like, and so you I called it BJ's out. Lounge. We had like some hookah. Yes. We had stuff coming from the ceiling. We had a balloon yeah. girl. Like, you know your girl. Yeah. yeah. I do a little something. So. And while we're setting all of this gorgeous decor, she's like, am I going to leave him in 2020? And I was like, I uh, questioned it. I don't know. Are you? She was like, do you want to leave him in 2020? I was like, well, I don't know if I should. Should I not? Yo. Because we've become good friends. Well, we've always been good friends, but we, we've become better only friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, you know, the midnight, gym is going to be percolating. And sure the... Midnight hit, and guess who wasn't left in 2020? Well, what had happened was, he texted me. Oh, okay. I think he texted me, like, earlier uh-huh. in the night. Uh-huh. Just y'all, like, just so y'all know, we're piecing this night together. The two of go. us don't remember much, so I remember a little bit. He had texted me like earlier in the night, mm-hmm. saying "Have a good New Year." He didn't know I was having a party, but he he texted me earlier in the night, and I was like, "Oh, okay." Mm-hmm. 
I think then, I said thanks. And then she called him three times. That's not, okay, that's not what, that's not. Not back to back three times, but over the span of the evening, she called three times to make it sound better. Yeah. Right? <laughs> You're an Am asshole. I, <laughs> You're really an asshole. Am I getting this story wrong, though? No, but. I'm getting the Cliff Notes version. Yeah. No, but, but we're friends. And he wished me a happy new year. Mm-hmm. So, I wish him a happy new year back. And that was it for at least like two hours. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> when I saw the call off, the call started at like three. Three. What time did we go to sleep? I have oh, no, no clue what time we went I to sleep. Know. All but. I know is I woke up the next morning, hurt on the couch. My clothes had been changed, which was nice. You know, that's <laughs> nice. Um... <laughs> eyelashes have come off you know like the the cute stuff that your friends do for you um and then i just got in her bed and they you know normally we do a new year's brunch yeah i had made brunch and every i had cooked and i was fine it was as soon as i time made like every because everyone ended up spending the night which was Mm -hmm. great because it's the safest thing to do Mm -hmm. um so (laughs) i had made everyone breakfast as soon as i turned the eggs off like i was done just this feeling of despair came over me. <laughs> just this, just like, I feel so sick. I can't believe this I is happening. I can't believe this is happening. Because I don't get sick. I don't get hungover. None of that. And I was just like, what is going on? Apparently, me and my brother got into this argument yeah. that night. I did. And the crazy thing is, I don't think he remembered the argument either. Yeah. Because the next morning, well, of course, we're just going to be like, oh, hey, you know, like, whatever, what whatever. have you. But we forgot and we yeah. were told that, you know. I didn't, I didn't see, I didn't socialize until <laughs> I think about 6 p.m. that day. I went upstairs. She never goes upstairs and gets in my bed. Never. I came upstairs. She was in my bed, tucked. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't look at nobody. I don't want yeah, it was nothing. Crazy. But it was good. It felt like, you know, it just felt, for me, I felt selfish because, Everyone that I loved and I was super <laughs> close to was there. <laughs> like, the people who I spent my 2020 in quarantine with. Yeah. They were there at my house. And, like, that, if there's any way, I do believe how you bring in your new year is how your year. Like, your exactly. attitude. That's accurate. Because last New Year was on the boat. I she was, was sick. hurt muggy. I was in that bathroom on a tiny cruise ship. Y'all yeah. know if you've been on a cruise, you know how small the room bathrooms are. Mm-hmm, Just mm-hmm. dying. I think I smelled champagne when we went on the top deck, and I was like, mm, "That was it. That's it. That's it. I can't. That's all I got to give." Not that. <laughs> Oh but we went into the new year like we went to a beach. We went, you know, yes. just kind of being relaxed, being um, chill very it, chill, but also like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? elevating like goal driven mm, like we mm-hmm. did talk about what we wanted to do for the year because i know like everyone was like 2020 is gonna be our year and then this year we were like you know we're gonna walk into 2021 yeah, we're just gonna have no expectation we're gonna walk in and see you know just I'm let it be show what it up. i'm gonna have my seat and i'm gonna wait for my number to be called that's it, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. i'm not gonna complain or anything that's like that it. and 2021 has been an experience so far you know what the cra for me the craziest thing 2021 gay what the siege on the Capitol. Look, y'all, that was the cra- So, <laughs> as we all know, we have a new president. Yes. Because did we know by... We did we know. By then. We knew by Christmas. But we did not know everything that was going to transpire. You know, we don't really talk about politics on here. We don't. Um, but, but we also live in Maryland. Yeah. Um, 30 not, minutes outside of D.C. 30 minutes outside of D.C. I used to, we were used to, she still works in D.C., but I used to work in D.C., so going to D.C., going past the Capitol, growing up in growing this up area, mm-hmm. you're, like, I don't know who y'all think y'all are, but y'all ain't going up to the Capitol. Mm-mm. Not like they did on that day. They showed their behind. Y'all they showed, showed their ass. ass. <laughs> okay. And it's, it's weird, and, you know, just seeing all the tweets and stuff, like, people who grew up here... You couldn't walk on to Capitol Grounds. No. And I don't watch the news often because it's just too much bad stuff going on. Yes. And I, I like I, I need I I need to be clear of that. I can see it on social media and then you can get away from it. But mm-hmm. when I tell you my TV stayed on CNN CNN all, all day. day. And I had meetings that I was like, I don't know how you expect me to get any work done. 
when what I've known all my childhood is being like tossed to out the, the side. window. And I've done an event at the Capitol before. Yeah. And it, the security checks and all of that, even just walking, even from field trips on the Capitol, you can't even walk on the grounds of like before the stairs are it's like a huge ass sidewalk you can't even touch it's crazy yeah. and every wednesday since then has been a wild ride and you know it's been insurrection impeachment inauguration and it's felt like a great washing over of it our area so good. i was just so giddy i was just like okay my favorite was michelle first lady forever first lady michelle Obama. She stepping out that it. car with her hair laid. Man, I told I was talking to my mom. I said, Mom, there's a video out there that's like, oh, and we have a former first lady, Michelle Obama, getting out the car. It's like, oh, and there's the president, the former president, but here's Michelle Obama. <laughs> it's like, she had to have been trending because she killed, killed it. it. Per usual. Per usual. Per I didn't usual. expect anything less. And did you see the memes that were like we now understand the, um, what was it, 2016 messy ponytail versus the mm-hmm. hair leg with the big curls. Yes. And the monochromatic outfit. outfit. I love a good monochromatic outfit. She, that is, yeah. I really, Everybody even down to really the lounge wear. Yeah. Yes. And so, <laughs> there's so many memes out there. Yeah. I just, I, it, I felt so happy today. I it was, was just like, peaceful. And the crazy thing is, my dad will watch CNN all day, every day. Inauguration day? Did he have CNN on that television? No. <laughs> Insurrection day? Did he have CNN on the television? No. Well, Impeachment day? And I'm like, he knows why he needs to watch it. But Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, <laughs> he had it on all day. All day. Six o'clock news. World news at seven. Eight o'clock news. Same old stuff all the time, but when they voting on impeachment, I gotta come in there and turn the TV on. <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> where is it? What where are we doing? Are we? What are the arguments? Yeah, I've never watched CNN so much in my life. So I guess in I the can... last two three weeks. Yeah, I can thank Donald Trump for that. <laughs> I've never you watched know, him. I think I was telling you. I wish. Part of me feels like I'm sure he did some positive things. He did. There was one thing that I saw on TikTok about. Uh, people with autism that he did and it's like Mm. things that you don't because of all of the madness surrounding him as a person and his cabinet and his supporters and all of that I think there are there are good chunks of things that he's done that are positive Mm -hmm. that are missed but there's always something crazy happening that over that over shine that yeah and it's like i know that's probably why he was like oh fake news fake news but it's like you we're gonna run i study journalism the story that's gonna be the big story is the story they're gonna run with yeah and that's just foolish well he he kept things foolish he kept it foolish and then he his foolishness (laughs) reached the peak peak. with i don't know how many times you have to lose an election well i don't lose an election but just just and (laughs) Okay, we're going to move from this subject because we can stay on this for a while. But I don't like... We can. What did you think was going to happen? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What did you think was going to happen? And yes, y'all are going to jail. Y'all, 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 y'all won't take y'all ass to jail. They Please. Seeing the um, <laughs> on social media say, we're not terrorists. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you, yeah, you are. are. You're going to jail. And you know, if any other group of people, I ain't going to say race, group of black of people, group, brown group native american group a jewish group anybody other than trump supporters would have rolled up to that building it would have been on i feel like i'm scared to finish the drink but it's good yeah i'm about to take it about to go down. <laughs> this is good. a good drink yeah it's a good drink gin fizz. We'll, it's really good actually we'll have to spruce up our uh, <laughs> we'll just have to get like better skills. shakers and yeah. like because i feel like it's supposed to be a really really thick bowl mm-hmm. but i don't i don't know how to do that yet Cause I saw it on Married at First Sight. Okay, but we're gonna um, move on from that. We're in a new space. I do know, um, you know, everyone. Everyone wants a unified. I remember growing up mm-hmm. in the Clinton era, and I remember the Bush era, and yes. I remember the Obama era, and it's things got crazy. It got crazy, now. but there was always a sense of everybody's. It's like nobody. We're, we're not there. I don't think there was ever a time 
where in our growing up where yeah. we felt like there was a real divide in the country other than when Obama became president yeah. and the states were trying to secede we didn't forget about that Texas Texas <laughs> um but uh, and even that was not to the to the extreme that it got over yeah. these last four years and I, I was watching um Senator McCain I don't know if you remember when Senator McCain um told the lady to have a seat mm-hmm I feel like, because I, I I watched The View, and I feel like there has been um, a lot of those people mm-hmm. were upset because they've been waiting in the wings for somebody to yes. speak for, for them. them and mm-hmm. to them. Mm-hmm. And they, they were like, okay, Senator McCain shut us down. Yeah. Bush shut us down. Um, there are more, you know senators and congressmen that aren't shutting us down but the president of the united states is like yeah not only not shutting us down but like uplifting he us. supports us yeah he understands our views he understands where we're coming from and some and i always you know i, I was looking for fox news mm-hmm. i feel like we are talking about this way more than we, we are ever talking about this more. so we have to like i was Wrap looking for fox last, news because i just wanted to know what their thoughts were and that's why i watched the view because i mm-hmm. do watch megan mccain yes because I want to know, and I, I don't hate doing that, where it's like one person speaks for everyone. Mm-hmm. But if you have a a glimpse into someone else's mind, I do mm-hmm. want to know what that is. Yes. So, we're going to wrap that up, because we have a new president and a new first lady. And we saw them kids walking down Pennsylvania Avenue in their monochromatic, the pink, killing, tan, killing, killing. white, killing, killing, teal, killing. And we have our it. first... African American South Asian South Asian woman. Yes, woman. I know. Sorry. I know no, they've been saying female. I don't know. Woman. woman. It just sounds Vice weird. Madam Vice President. Madam Vice President and the first husband. <laughs> gentleman. <laughs> gentleman. Second gentleman. Second gentleman. Yes. Second it's, gentleman. It's, it's, it's crazy. And the only thing that I was very upset about was that COVID, normally, for the people that don't have not been to an inauguration before um, or don't live in the area, D.C. would have been popping. Oh, my like, God. Like, it was MLK weekend. Mm. And we have a... To be single in the city when this shit was going on? Girl. girl. And, you know, brunches... I would have home, but I mean, young liberal. Brunches okay? do persist even in COVID. There's igloos <laughs> and people sit outside in the yes, cold. Yes, yes, yes. But it would have been insane inauguration week because we had off... I had off that Monday, and mm-hmm. then I also had off that Wednesday. So, it was like, yeah. Tuesday, you could really get things real mixy. <laughs> you get real mixy on Tuesdays. Um, yes. But we had to stay home. <laughs> stay for home. good reason, for good reason. It was great seeing it on TV, and the um, concert that they did afterwards. Yeah. As well. I was like, they should do this more often. And they had a whole lot of fireworks. I ain't never seen that many fireworks. Independence, like Day, Independence Day. No, even when you go to the National Mall for Independence Day, I don't know if they had that. I think it's the trees that get away. They do. Independence, no. Maybe they they should have went a little higher. It seemed like they were like, I think it was a little higher. No, you know what it is? Okay. Okay. What? In the summertime, (laughs) yeah, this is a DC thing. In the summertime, the the trees are in full bloom. Mm. But in the winter, there's no leaves on the trees. Mm -hmm. So you can see them better. And I like getting, um, one of our friends got a message from another friend who lived in DC. And they could see the fireworks from where they were. And it was just like, it was almost a brush, a breath of fresh air. Good God! Wow. I mean, you can't say it on camera. Okay. <laughs> Girl, the girls was out. The girls was out. Listen. The girls was out. Okay, that's enough of political talk. Yeah, y'all know we don't do that on this podcast. Yeah. We keep it light. We keep it light and fun. But you know, we have to tell you what was going on. Yeah, and then I guess for our podcast this season, we are doing some new exciting things like we have guests we have guests this season guys so excited we've two we've recorded twice with guests already yes, and yes. let me tell y'all those are some good episodes good, episode. good juicy yeah episodes i part of me wants to tell you a little bit but the other part of me wants to wait wait, wait. Um, a little sneak peek some of our closest people friends yeah are gonna be and y'all, we talk about sex. We talk about when we get. And you know what? When I was listening to this, it's like we kind of dance around the subject of sex. Yeah, but in that, in this, in that episode, we really were like, we really didn't talk about talk it. about it. Yeah, it's crazy. Because I think when we were discussing it, like what we wanted to talk about, it's like, girl, we're almost thirty years old. Yeah, you know, we, can, we can talk about 
talk about sex. We've been dancing around a lot of topics. <laughs> um, I think this season we're definitely kind of ripping the band-aid off. Yeah. Um, I guess it's a slow rip because we did have a, a half a season last year. Um, <laughs> but this year we're I think we're feel comfortable and I feel like why not? And I yeah. think it's that that kind of crossing over like you're not a kid yeah parents don't listen to it and if they did they were 30 before and yes. they had kids so they know what's up you know yeah. it's very um my mom does watch ours so she follows on social media now Ooh. um and she'll see some of the videos and i'm like oh my god she's we're talking about hotels <laughs> oh being hoes mm-hmm. and because mm-hmm. one of the things we started over covid was or shoot Upload everything yeah. to video to YouTube, and we have shooters. And yeah, we have like YouTube, stuff. we have shooters, which are like quick little conversations. So if you're missing us for real, for real, and you mm-hmm. want to catch a quick glimpse on what we're thinking, you can just check out our YouTube. Yeah, step in a shot. Um, <laughs> on YouTube, you know, you know the deal. You know. Um, what else is going on? I think what's a big thing that had has happened recently was I'm just gonna throw this out there. Lori Harvey. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about Bridgerton. Ooh! <laughs> what, what, what do you want to do first? Bridgerton let's go one. Let's go through Lori Harvey. Okay, I want to do Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan because we did get a question from a good friend and avid listener, and she was asking... Oh. Let me get my thoughts together because I am drunk now. <laughs> Feeling it. This is going to be... This is from Kelly Kales. So she texts me, well, she sent a voice message saying, why is Lori Harvey being called the GOAT when any other woman who was dating around Mm -hmm. would have been called promiscuous or a slut if she was seen dating a lot of different people? Like, why does she get exalted Mm -hmm. and people are saying, I don't, maybe exalted is the wrong word, but a lot of people are saying, she's put up on a pedestal, but a lot of people are saying, um, this is what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm, um, sorry, so she was yeah. saying, sorry guys, she was saying, why does she get such a, she was like, because yes. when we were doing that in our 20s, people wanted to call us out, they wanted to call us different names and things like that. So what are your thoughts on it? And as you all know, we are very, very big Michael B. Jordan, Jordan fans. fans. So of course my heart was broken um, and people send me videos repeatedly as I, <laughs> Uh, you don't have to send me every video um because i am going through a breakup right now <laughs> now that he's dating Lori, you're going through a breakup yeah with him in my mind we're breaking i, I gotta i gotta take a step back um okay and then he started looking at steve, the steve harvey comparison meme i was like right yeah, that was not funny. not sure i want that um anywho i think i can see it both ways where it's like i understand that she is being she well one i agree that this is what she should be doing in her 20s she's only Absolutely. 24 mm-hmm. she should be dating around mm-hmm. um and, and she keeps her business her business she keeps her business her business and there's no proof or evidence that she's sleeping with every man that she's gone on a date with and i think that's the part that people forget it's like we always put into our like Oh, so if she went out on a date, well, she must be sleeping with him. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you don't know what is really happening behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. Um, I think... You finish your drink before me? Yeah. So, <laughs> on. Add it to the list, y'all. Tally it up. If anybody's keeping a tally out there, the times I finish my drink before Veronica, um, bless your heart. I think that it's... Like, I can see where they're coming from. Um... I do think that her being in the limelight puts her at a disadvantage because in college we were dating around, but people, it wasn't to the point where people knew we was dealing with No, people people. knew when you were dealing with somebody and you got called out for it at times. And it's like, oh, I remember going somewhere after college and I'm with my new man. And this guy, <laughs> this guy's like, then he used to talk to me about such and such. I'm not gonna put that out there. Just gonna leave yeah, that alone. Later, later. But then he used to, he used the word date, and yes. I was very clear in saying we didn't date. We were friends. We were cool. But yes. there is a there's. A, <clears throat> let me say this. I feel like she's not a millennial. A. No. I'm I feel like she's it. not a millennial, and we're in a new generation where um when we're in a new we're in a new generation where we don't. We no longer have to have the standards that, you know, I feel like, okay, yeah, you are drunk. 
as like when you think about the generation, like our mother's generation and our grandmother's generation mm -hmm. and then our generation, where it's different where a woman's freedom is, is yes. more acceptable. Yes. So if we were 23, 24, 22 now, now granted we were dating a lot of different people. I think now they're more public with it. Um, like if you and are, they don't care. If you're on TikTok, there's a lot of talk about sneaky links and how you look after you come back from your sneaky link mm -hmm. and you know what sexual things you're doing. And we weren't we would talking never about do that. that, especially not online. We might do that with our friends or you know like have a conversation with the girls. Like oh my god, girl, this is what happened. Or I would get a call from hey, I'm trying to get out of I'm trying to All get right, out. Alright, you can leave that story in 2013. 12. 2012. <laughs> was a wild year, guys. I mean, we kept our stuff to our, ourselves, but that's yes. because um, social media wasn't as... And that's what I meant big. when I was saying that, like, we we were dating or dealing with different people, but it wasn't to the extent where people talked about it, because I've asked... My guy friends are very um, open and honest about a lot of things, mm -hmm. and it was always... Y'all's names were not the ones going around campus. Mm-hmm. And so, and like, and... And there's a judgment. Like, Lori yeah, Harvey is going through right now. There's a judgment. But it's which like, sucks. It sucks. And I think some of it has to do with the people that she's dating. Like, you, if you date a son and then you date their father, I think that things we get a little don't dicey. Know we don't know that that happened. She did. But the public perception of that is... And then you have future. Dicey. In itself. Um... But she made it out without a baby. And I think that's what everybody's praising her for. I think they, that added her, that put her on the GOAT list. Like, ooh, sis, you got out of that. And you got a birthday trip. And you didn't get pregnant. To Jamaica and your friends got, got to come. And you didn't get pregnant. Man, the GOAT. The GOAT. I was like, girls be having one night with him and Fertile Myrtle. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That is it. So, I think... I can see it both ways. But now I'm seeing stuff online about it being like a fake relationship for promotion. And I don't, you see that? I told her once I saw the video come out of them playing in the snow, I said, hey, something ain't right in the milk. I'm going to tell right. you that right now. Something ain't right in the milk. And um, that's fine. You know, mm -hmm. do your thing. Because for me, these are two people who have been very private about their relationship. Yes. Relationships. Yes. And they've been sneaking around. It just it just seems like a, um I'm good. Okay. Um it just se something just isn't right to yeah. me. But you know, if he's happy, I'm happy. Nice. <laughs> what an evening. What I don't know evening. where I'm going after this. <laughs> anyway, I, I think she's the goat. I think she's I think she's doing what you're supposed to do at twenty four. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to date around and when you feel like, you know, somebody you wanna introduced to your friends in the world thing that's what you do you're supposed yes. to do that and i think we say date around because it's i think it's important to know what you like and what you don't like mm. um and i don't know that you have to at 24 or 25 be dating necessarily for marriage or to settle down or that's what I was doing. to get into you know like to be in a long-term relationship but i think you learn a lot about yourself based on the people that you date and what you can handle, and you know, <laughs> just <laughs> go for it. You know, go. I think for it. you know, you just go for it, and don't be afraid to like go on a date with somebody that you might that might not be your type because you never know. Like our friend, who is our friend, is you know with somebody who not was not her type when she first saw him. Physical type physical type that's what i mean like it might they might not be your physical type like you might be like oh i want somebody that is six three or taller and you might date somebody for a long period of time who is not understand are you are you saying six three or taller than me yes i'm just putting I don't, it in my, perspective mine is not six three mine what is was over yours? six foot okay what was it in college because don't play me like I don't know you. I haven't known you for 10 years. Because now, six, six feet. Three. Yes. Crazy. <laughs> well, okay. That's because my ex at the time was 6'4". Exactly. Uh, I said 6'3 six because six I'm pretty sure it was 6'4 or up. But the next guy I dated, he was like 6'2". Well, I'm not next guy. But one of the guys, a couple of the guys I dated were like 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, and thus proving my point. But you might have a standard 
or an ideal person in your mind and then you might end up dating somebody who is not does not fit that norm i tried and they dating great. someone who was under six foot for four years it was a long try <laughs> what do you mean i mean you did you did try dating somebody that was oh under six foot under six foot six foot it might as a cut off he was like under five, five. Foot, i tried it I, you know I, I tried to see so did i i didn't give a good try but i i gave a semi try so did I. You gave a good try because you dated him. Like you, I didn't you know we were getting into a, We can talk about that but I, not saying, but I didn't know we were getting into a relationship when we got into a relationship and I was like, mm, fuck it. <laughs> I was like, so this means you're, this means no, so are we asked, dating? When he asked me for a relationship, I said no. After you see a man bounce off of concrete, it's, it's a no. Yeah, that's a difference. It's I didn't see that guy bounce off of concrete. I was just, we went out on a date. I, you know, listen, when you're dating, um, don't just say yes after somebody repeats them. Like you're not paying attention on a phone call. And that's how <laughs> that I got, got into a relationship. That relationship. Yeah, that's how I got into a relationship. I was we were on the phone and I was doing my hair and I'm like, I'm doing my hair. You know when you try to tell people you're flat ironing your hair, paying attention. Try not to burn yourself or your ear or your hair. And I'm like, Hey, I'm doing my hair and you're having a conversation, sure, whatever, we could talk and zone out and they're like, Oh, is that cool with you? Yep. <laughs> just so you didn't hear him ask you out? No. And then he was like, so we can go out for Valentine's Day. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then we ended up going out for Valentine's Day. And like I got him a little gift. He got me like as a, a gift too. And then we like did our little gift exchange. And I'm like, so are you are you my my boyfriend? <laughs> And he was like, yeah, duh. And I was like, you are oh, okay. so ridiculous. I think if it, there's anything I'm glad that we're older about is you ask clear, clarifying questions. <laughs> it's not just like, oh, yeah, it's fine. It's like, no, no, no. What does that mean? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What I didn't you say? hear what you said. But when you're younger, you're kind of, you, you're okay. You kind of like are a little passive. That was the third time I've talked to him. So I was not expecting. Are you serious? I'm, so serious. He asked you to be his girl after at the third time. So we girl, so what you put on him? Nothing. I didn't put anything <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> I didn't put anything anywhere. So the Three first time we, calls and he wiped you up. We talked on the phone. I think we went on a date, right? Uh huh. Or we went on a because I we met online. We went out for a date to a Thai restaurant. Mm-hmm. I think we talked on the phone and I wasn't really interested in him, and we didn't talk for a little bit after that. Now, the younger me, a little bit after that, might have been a week. Might have been two weeks. I don't know. It's all a blur. It's a um, shame. It's a shame. That's what it is. That's what it is. Point blank. Anyway, and then he ended up calling me, and we were on the phone, I think, once before that. And then the next time, he was like, I guess he was like, oh, I'm interested in getting, like, taking this to the, uh, the next level. I, I really, date? all I really remember is next level. But if you think about it, the first time he met y'all, like this tight friend group, he said that they could be our the godparents to our children. The first night, never met them before that, never had any interaction. Granted, yes, I would love for my friends to be the godparents of my children. However, that is not up to him, <laughs> drunkenly in the back of a minivan, <laughs> to offer up. As he was shoves he cupcakes into his mouth. Yes. <laughs> he was very no, drunk. No, they lit. All of them were lit. And my little happy ass is driving. Everybody's like, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. But okay. I think, honestly, James, it had been so long since she had been in a, a good relationship. relationship. Yeah, I wasn't trying to date them. The, I think we were. And you didn't date anyone for like two. You dated people, but you weren't serious with anyone you know. for like at least two years. Which, in your, which was... Fine. And, and that's what needs to happen. Yeah, that right. That was fine. But like to see someone who was like into you. He was really into me. Guys. He 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 look. I'm not gonna say love. I'm not gonna say love. Child. He strongly likes some Jay. He did. And um, I, like, I think no, it was a little you. just. It was just a little too fast for her. It way too. But I I'm think for you, key. you're low key. But for you, I think in your mind, you're like. You could meet someone and fall in love and marry them within six months. 
Yes. That was, I, in your mind. And that's because that's what happened with my parents. So I grew up with that, like, it doesn't, there does not have to be a standard amount of time that you date somebody before you realize they're the person for you. My parents were still married. Yeah, 30 absolutely. plus, 35 years later. Yeah. Um, happily <laughs> married. You know, have, happily married. Things get a little crazy in that household. It's marriage. But, it's life. Yeah, that's marriage. That's life. They still love each other. Mm -hmm. Um, And they met. They used to work together. They went on a date. Six months later, they were engaged. They were in, wed within a year. And not because anybody was pregnant, because I didn't come around, along for years. It was, they really, like, as my parents say, they went to an event. They were separated. And it, the whole night, they were just like, I would rather be talking to her. I would rather be wow. talking to him. That's so sweet. And in that moment. And my mom had to ask him out. <laughs> Your mama asked him out? So she says that. Every this is what they were they before no. the hospital she was like every other man in that hospital was hitting her up trying to take take her out on days trying to talk to her and they had a mutual friend that was like oh y'all should go out to the crit holiday party together like the job holiday party together and my dad would not ask her and so she finally ended up asking him and they went and that night they knew that way it's it's crazy how. We always talk about how you view relationships and how yes. I view them. Because my parents dated for like eight years mm -hmm. before they ended up being married and having us and <laughs> later doing other stuff. Mm -hmm. But and for me, I'm like dating someone for a long time is a necessary component. It's a necessary <laughs> component. <laughs> and for me, I'm like... Maybe no. not necessary, and I feel like I'm trying to change the necessity of mm -hmm. it because I am older. I do eventually. I'm not ready to date yet, but I do eventually want to Listen, date. The, uh, the husband of our friend has a timeline, and that joint <laughs> it ends. I think February 11th. I think, I think like, she. Gets, I think I got it extended to February 11th. I think she gets thrown out, <laughs> thrown out there into the ocean with the other fish in the sea. <laughs> Here, right now, like. Fully clothed. They are waiting. <laughs> waiting. We, I, I know I have multiple people that are like... Yeah, we, I feel like, like for you, it's more imperative that you... Than me. Like, I'm just... For me, I feel like I'm still for just me, getting out of a relationship. If you don't come correct, you don't come at all. What the fuck does On that multiple mean? multiple levels. <laughs> what does that mean? In the context of that we're talking about. It's like, for me, when it comes to dating, I'm not getting into a relation like the last few people that I've courted talked to has been yeah courted and talked to mm -hmm. <laughs> have been to see how deep you get ready to go go ahead for a year two years every single like I've known all of them for more than a year okay two year three two years okay yes um we're not going to get into a relationship <laughs> Like, if you don't come, like, we can hang out. We can set up our evenings. <laughs> set up our evenings. <laughs> set up our evenings. Y'all can catch that in a later episode. Yeah. Set up our evenings. Um, Are you ready to, like, seriously date someone to marry them? I think that I am. I think in the previous years, I thought I was. And I was like, oh, I want to date. I want to have a relationship. But now where I am, I'm like, you are not ready two years ago a year ago what made you feel like you weren't ready a year ago two years ago i think it took a lot of self-reflection that i've had in 2020 mm -hmm. celibacy in 2020 bitch celibacy in air quotes <laughs> not air quotes what are you considering celibacy friend end of september to august when i could have been getting it in. You said in the September of what, 2019? 20, to August of 2020? Yes. So not a full year, but 11 months. Not a, yeah, 11 so, months. So you're telling me... In 11 months of not hitting nobody's phone, because I could have. Not I'm rolling not, I'm up... I'm not to, doubting you, sis. I'm, you look like you're doubting me, sis. <laughs> Roll, not <laughs> rolling not up to... That's the truth, but okay. It is the truth. Not rolling up to anybody's house. And it was... There's, of course, moments where I was like... I could just hit this person's phone and I know I could pull up and get done what I need to get done and bounce so and be good. So you're just talking about the sexual side. Yeah. You're not talking about... 
I mean, but not having side. It all comes communication side. It all rolls into one where it was like when I was spending when I was not focused on the sexual aspect of it, mm-hmm. I was realizing that there was pieces in the relationship side or the pieces that I needed from a relationship that that person was not providing. That's fair. And that was I think clear. that's the part that I wanted you to get. Oh, I got that back in March. <laughs> it's like, I knew that. But I was like, we'll see. We'll keep trying. But it's just like, there was parts where it's like, the communication is not where I want it to be. Or you're not fulfilling what I need to fill. There's no, as my cousin, me and my cousin had to talk about this. She was like, there is no um, dependency. Not that I'm depending on you to provide something but mm-hmm. if i have a flat tire on the side of the road i don't know that you're going to answer the phone mm-hmm. and that there's no security in that situation and in any relationship that you're trying to get into you want a sense of security yes you want that and, and it doesn't have to be like we're i feel like in any relationship you're in whether it's friendship family you want a sense of security where if i need something I can call you. Yes, and it doesn't have to be anything big. And that's I think that's the disconnect between some men and some women where it's like, if I call you, I want you to be able to answer the phone. They might think that's because it's a, I'm trying to control you. I don't want to know what you're doing. I'm trying to be nagging. But it's like, something could happen in my life and you are the person that I am expecting to be there outside of my friends because I can always call my friend yeah. and be like, hey girl, this is what's going on. But I would want my man to be the person that I can call and say hey this terrible thing happened to me at work today or I have a flat road on the side of the tire or oh my goodness there was a death in the family she's drunk she met flat tire on the side of the road what did I say you said flat road on the side of the tire (laughs) flat tire on the side of the road um y'all y'all know we are we we on the third drink all right (laughs) third drink my bra's coming out it's it's fine. You two, it'll we be fine. Y'all. We missed <laughs> we missed y'all. We missed the heck out of y'all. Go ahead. Um, you want someone who, you know, who you can call if something is going on. Yes. And that was, in, in that situation, that was always my thing. Where it's like, anytime that you call me, anytime my friends call me, anytime yeah. anybody I care about calls me, even if I, I will answer my phone. Yeah. Unless I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> And then if not, I've been at weddings where people have called and texted me and I will text you back and say, hey, working away, yeah. what is going on? Because I never want my friends or anybody I care about to feel like they are alone in a situation and there's nobody there for them. If you can't provide me the same energy, if you and don't I'm come correct, you, know, you don't come at all. But I think that's where I'm at and that's why I, I feel like I always argue with you about it because I know I can call him <laughs> you need to get yourself together <laughs> you really do friend you need to get yourself together I just spilled my drink on myself y'all it didn't get on your dress no it's not on my thigh yeah um for those listening to podcasts that can't see the video <laughs> it just spilled the drink I think and I think that's what it is for me is that foundation that uh, what I really want for you and I think that's why it's harder for me to like pull apart because that foundation of friendship mm-hmm. is still very much there yes and I know if I call I could hit him up right now yes and be like hey I need your help changing like my light all the way at the top you of the ceiling what? is out the funny thing is when we were coming up the stairs you were like I didn't call my brother to have him change the light and, and I was so like, I had to tell myself and I in my I mind I was like I know I know there is another option and I know that she has thought about this other option but I'm gonna let her believe that I believe that well, my brother changed it. the brother is yeah, they, the, the only the option to do that well if he doesn't get in touch with me then Ooh, phone will work both ways <laughs> the phone works both I, ways no I'm saying I could call him if he doesn't get up then, then what you want me to do I will. You'll come have, over and get on the eight foot ladder with me. We have multiple men. I have multiple men who are friends. Clarify. I, I definitely point. could call my other brother to do it. You could. There's one up the road. There's one down at the harbor. There's there's a group. There's one in DC. <laughs> there's, one, there's, like, there's a group of people. Because like, I remember for Christmas, um, his girlfriend was like, "We need to call BJ." Well, she doesn't call me BJ, but she's yes. like, "We need to call Veronica and see if she needs help with her tree." Yeah. <laughs> Cause I know I'm like over here by myself. <laughs> like, there like, we need to check on her to make sure she's okay. Yeah, we have multiple 
But I to love to. him, and if I want him to help me, he will help me. Period. We have love for each other. Period. And that's not going to change. And I don't care what any. It doesn't have to. Yeah, I'm change. definitely drunk. You're definitely I'm drunk. Definitely drunk. Hey, friend. Because no, he listens. Hey, friend. Um, in case you're getting the answers that you don't get on the phone calls. <laughs> but I think there's. I mean, of course, there's a. There's always going to be love in a situation. There's a lot of love in that fact. situation. Um. You know, because we we were really friends. Let's just let's move. On. Let's I don't move even know how forward. we got here. I don't know how we got here. Y'all know this podcast. It takes <laughs> lefts, rights, upside down turns. Is there anything that you would like to share with the people? I feel like I shared too much. Already. Yeah, I think we got we got real deep, <laughs> and we had a call today with one of our friends <laughs> from high school, and she was yes. like, "I love when y'all are turned up on an episode because y'all just it's raw, unfiltered. It's yeah. really y'all. We are third drinking, third drinking, and you know what? I I recently went to the igloos um, at a hotel in DC. I don't know if I'm gonna get the hotel out. Uh, ended up calling Jane and she was with a mutual friend one of her closest friends her favorite he is my favorite he knows he's my favorite I'm not gonna you can't try that. away it for me because yeah, the fave. one that's not your fave will never he's let like, us forgive it he's a second he's like a high second yeah he knows he doesn't like being high second but he, play, he plays his role he's like one B Wait, okay let's talk about New Year's let's, let's run it back to the beginning okay he told us that he was here <laughs> Um, what am I, I have two very close, I have male friends, yeah. Three very close male friends, but two that I hang out with, my Which cousin. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and I'm trying to, I'm trying not to leave him out, whatever. Right, right, right. Um, and one of them came over here for New Year's, cause he, if I am drunk, he will, he comes to the rescue. He lives like 10 minutes away from me. He does, but he's also driven to DC to come pick me up, even yeah. though he didn't need to, at the request of his girlfriend, to be like, go get her we have great, <laughs> we have great. Like, we lo- it's true that men can have platonic friends yes definitely you know it is very true where because we don't want them don't want them in my, that way my male friends are kindled and we're like we this with the there. significant with the girlfriends I'm not yes gonna say, and i will say this again we need to marry her just gonna put that out there he knows who i'm talking to yep okay anyway um one of them was here mm-hmm. the other one was at home now, I was a Sour Patch Kid. I hate you. F you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, no. But can you come over here? <laughs> I was like, I just, I just want to talk to you. To that, the one that was here, right? He tried to help VJ. And she was like, where's my fave? And he was like, but I'm, I'm here. She was like, um, no. <laughs> where's my fave? She was like, he, he's not coming. <laughs> he's not going to be here for you. I am here for you in this moment. And I think in those moments, he's always just like, oh, I'm never going to get that number one my spot. Babe, we shared a moment when I was going. It was like a pre-breakup. It's the most upsetting thing ever. Because they just <laughs> agree with whatever any either one of them says, even if it's all bullshit. That's, but, you know, we understand each other. And it's not like a, I'm in love and he's in love. It, it's just yeah, like it's just a good, yeah, and just, I love my guy friends. It's just a, a, a respect that no one get because he understood me when I was going through like a pre breakup with my yes before he became my former beau was acting like a former beau yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> okay um <laughs> so he you know he had conversations that were great and yeah. he understood where I was coming from anyway either one of them would be happy. Well, no, I don't know about happy, but they are, Can they are probably drink? willing, open and willing to come and assist you. That's with the same with what? With the light bulb page. So that's how we got here. Oh, yeah. Light bulb page. <laughs> go ahead and finish that, friend. There you go. Woo! So what are your 2021 goals? Just give me one 2021 goals, because we need to wrap this. We need to wrap it up. up. Um... <laughs> I'm drunk. Could we wrap it up, maybe Google? <laughs> um, I'm really trying to stack back up my my savings mm-hmm. back up. Um, with me being a wedding planner, I got my 10.99. Uh, for those that do contractor jobs, <laughs> instead of a W two, I got a 10.99. And baby, 
that is le about half of what I was not, I don't know if it was half. That's my first year wedding planning. Mm -hmm. It's usually the slowest year you have because everybody's like, oh, have you done it before? Have you worked this with me before? What if we have you? You get a little more like resistance to you being somebody's planner. Right. I made less than my first year of planning. Well, well, because of COVID. Yes. Yeah. And that's, um, and that kind of like took me, like I knew I had 11 weddings coming into 2020. Mm -hmm. I only did three. Two of them were not weddings that I booked in 2019. Mm. And that says, or in March, like January to March, okay. you book weddings. Um, majority of the weddings that I had previously had in 2019. Oh, probably because it settled. <laughs> Um, those are the ones that kind of, normally you book, you book the year before for the following year, mm -hmm. typically. Um, there's a few people, depending on what their services are looking for, that will book you the same year. Um, majority of those people were not people whose weddings I did. I did one wedding that I've been working with for a long time. It was amazing. That was my first, like, partial couple that, you know, had me the full length of their wedding process. But the other two... I think one I booked in January mm -hmm. and the other one I booked three months before their wedding date. Okay. And the, the rest of them either postponed, canceled. Um, yeah, so it definitely was not what I anticipated, especially mm -hmm. when I was trying to buy a home Yeah. yeah. <laughs> last year. So I'm just going with God in 2021 um, and trying to stack up my savings so that I can pay up my car note, purchase a home financial not freedom because I'm buying a home but mm -hmm. moving to a better financial space mm -hmm. and that's my big goal for 2021 you my big goal for 2021 is to get into school, mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. and really for not to tell the people they might have connection um, tell the people what they want to know I want to get into counseling not counseling psychology, but a mm -hmm. master's in counseling. Um, because one of my deep passions is helping people. Yes. And helping families and helping... Um, I know this past 2020, I went through a, a period and my best friend had to tell me, like, this is not on you kind of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, there's nothing... You're the child. There's nothing that you could have done yes. for me. And being able to share that with another adult child... Mm -hmm or teen child or you know whatever or couples yes that's that's always been what i wanted to do so my big goal is to get into school so i can really become i'm like you're almost 30 do you really want to be doing something that you like your parents afforded you a excellent life mm -hmm. do you really want to be doing something that you don't want to do yes you, when you don't have to yeah. so that's my big goal and my, yeah. my second goal is just to be happy and to get my other friends in relationships so i and can to get be a third wheel i'm not gonna to be, be in a relationship a, this year everybody we're gonna be a semi-truck excuse me <laughs> we're gonna be a semi-truck what's a semi-truck where they have multiple wheels like axles you were like the 18 wheeler and just everybody hop on board baby everybody get a partner <laughs> i don't need a partner <laughs> i could just be that's what she says now I mean, this is, I really don't care. Um, Thank you. I really don't care. Our Thank other friends you. care. I, Thank you. No, no, no. Hold on now. I'm I really on. do not care as long as you are moving in the correct direction. Like, direction? Yeah, correct okay. direction according to who? Me? Partially you. <laughs> majority. Thank you, majority. Majority. Like 99.9% .9 me. Mm -hmm. Let's go with 80% you. 20% the rest of us. Um, I'm not going to put it all on myself because I know that your other friends have different opinions. Um, and I don't like to leave out your other friends. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about. Are you ready to wrap this thing up? I am. Um, <laughs> and I really want food. <laughs> Can you get Chipotle? Chipotle. All right, you guys, we missed you. We are coming back every Wednesday at um, 10 a.m. is when the episodes drop. Yes. Um, we'll be dropping YouTube videos as well. Uh, shooters. Shooters. Um, we're going to do some more taste tests. If you guys haven't seen the wine taste test we did for Black Girl Magic Wines and the McBride Sisters collections, 
that's on there um we do have ads in our episodes now oh we should um, announce that <laughs> <laughs> so we we're are trying to take it to another level yo. we said we're trying to go to where the money reside and hopefully we'll be able to at least pay for the liquor that we purchase because so. we have a membership at total wine um <laughs> and if anyone wants to sponsor us sponsor the liquor girls. Tip, we got you let us know um but as always you know feel free to email us message us text us for those that have our numbers hit us up on instagram it's at a sip and a shot and our in- our email address is a sip and a shot at gmail.com um and if you mess up and don't put the uh we do have a sip just basic a sip, sip and, and a, a shot. shot or just a sip and shot <laughs> sip and a shot at gmail um so just hit us up we love to hear from you guys we're excited for season two we're excited we have it's funny because we have like we have our google account and we have our personal notes and we have a lot of stuff that we want to touch on so much stuff in next month because it's the last um episode in january yes is our month of love all types of love all types of love y'all so it's also black history month so we don't feel like we're gonna touch on that we black okay you know us um but we are gonna come up with some good topics for you guys for next month the month of february and we're excited and glad to be back yes we miss you guys yeah all right let's wrap it up it's vj it's jane and this is a sip and and a shot bye